Alec porcelain, pronounced Alec, aka porcelain manufacturer Alec, was produced in Germany between 1935 and 1945. After its first year of operation, the enterprise was run by the SS with forced labor provided by the Dachau concentration camp. The emphasis was on decorative ceramics, objects dar for the Nazi regime. The company logo included stylized SS runes. Sometimes in place of the company name, the pottery markings mentioned the SS. Day, W I R T S C H A F T S V E R W A L T U N G S H A U P T A M T E S. Topic: History. Franz Nagy had owned the land since 1925 that the Munich Alec facility was built on. With his business partner, the porcelain artist Professor Karl Dybich, he began the production of porcelain art. The porcelain factory Porcelain Manufacture Alec was established as a private company in 1935 in the small town of Alec, near Munich, Germany. In 1936 the factory was acquired by the SS. Heinrich Himmler, the leader of the SS who was known for his obsession with Aryan mysticism, saw the acquisition of a porcelain factory for the production of works of art that would be representative, in Himmler's eyes, of Germanic culture. Alec Porcelain was one of Himmler's favorite projects and produced various figurines soldiers, animals, etc. to compete in the small but profitable German porcelain market. High-ranking artists were locked into contract. The output of the factory included over 240 ceramic models. As output at the Alec factory increased, the Nazis moved production to a new facility near the Dachau concentration camp. The use of slave labor from the Dachau camp was strongly denied by the factory managers at the Nuremberg trials. Initially intended as a temporary facility, Dachau remained the main location for porcelain manufacture even after the original factory in Alec was modernized and reopened in 1940. The factory in Alec was retrofitted for the production of ceramic products such as household pottery. Professor. Karl Dybich, was an Obersturmbannführer in the Waffen SS, and Himmler's personal referent on art. Professor. Theodor Karner was, besides Dybich, one of Germany's most prestigious artists in porcelain. Karner also worked with Meissen, Rosenthal and Hutchenruther. Alec was a sub-camp of Dachau near Munich, located approximately 16 kilometers from the main camp at Dachau. According to Marcus J. Smith, who wrote, Dachau, the harrowing of hell. The Alec camp was divided into two enclosures, one for 3,000 Jewish inmates and the other for 6,000 non-Jewish prisoners. Smith was a doctor in the U.S. military, assigned to take over the care of the prisoners after the liberation. He wrote that the typhus epidemic had not reached Alec until the 22nd of April 1945, about a week before the camp was liberated. The fall of the Third Reich brought an end to the Alec factory. The Alec factories were shut down in 1945, and never reopened. <laughs> Bronze work Over the last couple years several bronze pieces attributed the estate of Franz Nagy have come to market. Nagy was managing director of Alec Porcelain and each of the pieces were all modeled in porcelain as well during the Third Reich. The three noted examples included two of Obermeyer's models The Fencer and the Victor, and this rare Karner piece the SS Standard Bearer or SS Fahnenträger. Artistic themes. The majority of items produced at Alec as collectibles bolstered Nazi ideology by presenting idealized representations of peasants, historical figures and rural themes. The Alec Juleuchter Alec porcelain made a variety of candle holders ranging from elaborate gilded Baroque candelabras, to the most basic plain white porcelain single candle holder. Production numbers for most candleholders were above average for other Alec items. The varying styles and low cost due to slave labor production of the candleholders produced at Alec allowed most Germans of every class to own them. The Alec Juleuchter was unique in that it was made as presentation piece for SS officers to celebrate the winter solstice. It was later given to all SS members on the same occasion. 
Made of unglazed stoneware, the Juleuchter was decorated with early pagan Germanic symbols. Its design is based on artifacts found at an archaeological dig in and around Haithabu and is attributed to the Frisians who once settled there. Himmler said, I would have every family of a married SS man to be in possession of a Juleuchter, even the wife will, when she has left the myths of the church find something else which her heart and mind can embrace. In 1939 52,635, Juleuchter were made, probably the largest production for any single item produced at the porcelain manufacture Alec. Post-war works Franz Nagy may have started production again at the factory in Alec because some post-war stoneware pieces have been seen with an Alec mark that has the letter N standing for Nagy instead of the SS insignia. Theodor Karner also reused some of his Alec molds while he was working at Eschenbach in the U.S.-controlled zone of Germany. See also Art of the Third Reich